Hey everyone, so welcome back for Solid Q tip of the day number two. So for today's video, I'm going to be covering a warding situation. And people always ask, how do you know where to ward and, and why do you ward where you do? And so I'm going to pause it right here and kind of give you a bit of the rundown on the state of the map right now. So my bot, my bot lane's died a few times. It's four minutes in. Their AD carry is already three and zero. But my top lane has actually solo killed the Maokai twice. The Darius has solo killed the Maokai twice already as well. So it's one of those games where you have one side that's winning really hard, one side that's losing really hard. And the junglers, I have a Kindred, and they have a Xin Zhao, who's pretty far ahead now, that's already got one kill and two assists. So, right now, I've just TP'd back, I've got my tier, TF's also TP'd back, and I've got a pink ward and a uh, normal ward. So, how do you decide where to ward? So, basically, um, a few things that was running through my head this game was, okay, I want to put my ward in a place that will help my jungler... Um, snowball one side of the map. So generally my initial thought is, okay, I want to put a pink top side. And then also I'm thinking, okay, if I put a pink top side, we most likely will be able to defend it. Whereas if I put a ward bot side, um, we may not be able to defend it. So what I end up doing this game is, is I end up warding uh, top side here. And I thought that in the moment this was the correct play. and But I actually realized that this wasn't the correct play. So the reason being... And, this, and these specific war spots are actually really bad. We'll get into that as well. But what I should have done here is actually I should have went over here and I actually should have put a def defensive pink ward in our jungle right here. And then I actually should have put a normal ward in this pixel brush and tried to clear a, uh, a pink ward. Or if I didn't feel comfortable doing that, even just chuck a, chucking a um, one of these wards in the middle of the lane because I'm versing a TF to see which side he leans for ults or just above this ledge here or even just holding it for a little bit. So, the reason why um, and how you can decide where to put your pink is, what are you trying to achieve with your pink ward? Are you trying to help uh, your jungler get more ganks off on that side, or are you trying to defend one side with defensive vision? And and what I realized is that Kindred isn't going to gank top at all, because Darius is winning 1v1, and our bot lane is losing really hard, and they're just going to continually get dived. And what this, and, and I'm thinking for myself also, I'm actually in a lot of danger from Xin Zhao now. I'm versing a Twist of Fate, I don't have Cleanse, and Xin Zhao has really good kill threat. So, a concept that isn't really spoken about much is just straight up map design. So, if we look at here on blue side, it is actually a lot easier for me to lean on the top side of the lane and then have bot side warded. And the reason is, is because the entrance, this gank path for Xin Zhao, he's going to be on bot side of the map a lot more because he wants to gank bot side. And also just straight map design, it's a lot easier for him to walk into this side of the jungle because he can safely get out. But if Xin Zhao would have ganked from top side here, and say I, I uh, ward bots, say I ward, um, say I, I, I lean on the bot side and I'm scared of him ganking from top side, it's very unlikely Zin's going to be able to gank me from this route anyway because it's really awkward for him. He's fully committed into the jungle once he's here. It's just just pure map design. It's a lot, e it's a lot easier to get ganked from this bot side. So if I ward this bot side and lean on the top side of the lane, it's very difficult for me to die to a gank and it's simultaneously helping my bot lane by giving them a little bit of vision so Zinzel can't come around the back here. Um, and then also if, if Twist of Fate tries to ward here as well, which is a common warning spot, I might be able to sweep out his, his normal ward as well with my pink. So I realized, and because of this, I, um, cause I remember playing, even though I had these wards, I still didn't really feel safe because I had no vision here whatsoever. And all I needed was just this ramp warded. And having my pink up here, it would be a lot safer to defend as well. And then um, later on down the track, I actually end up dying to a gank because I, even though I was leaning on this side, um, they could get right behind me and get really close because of just the pure map design here. So I thought this was interesting. I thought I'd like to share this thought. And I think so for a solo Q-tip, um, I want you to think a little bit more about where you want to put your pinks and what are you trying to achieve out of it? A, are you trying to allow your jungle to gank one side more? Or, or gank a specific area more and control a specific area more? Or are you putting it somewhere as a form of defense for that side because they're actually struggling to lose? So think about what that your jungle is doing in the team, what he's trying to achieve. Hope this helps and uh, keep in touch for more videos. Cheers.